Hello, my name is Cyclone Soz, and this morning here is your detailed update on Tropical Cyclone Kiralee, a Category 1, probably actually a Category 2 strength system at this time, moving towards the Queensland coastline where a landfall is expected later tonight at around 10pm local time as a Category 2 strength Tropical Cyclone. A strong impact is expected and I'm going to be outlining what's happening with the system right now over the next 10 minutes and also outlining what impacts can be expected around Townsville and surrounding communities such as Air, Bowen, uh, down towards Mackay and Hamilton Island and Airlie Beach and also up towards Cardwell and in this file because it is going to have a widespread impact. If you are brand new to here, please consider subscribing. We're getting closer to 10,000 subscribers and click the join button down below to get access to some exclusive perks. But let's get straight into it. We're looking at the radar imagery right now. You can see the system really swirling itself up quite nicely. It's got an eye, um, it's, it's been quite a hit and miss eye actually. Um, uh, over the past sort of 12 hours. This is a 12 hour radar loop. In fact, I will bring it up to the current time. You can see um, it's still got that eye-like feature here. Uh, the radar is really having quite a hard time picking it up because well, the Bowen radar is currently getting some pretty heavy precipitation. So it's not able to really see right up to the storm's core um, at this point, because it is a weaker radar uh, station. But when this rain band that moves through Bowen and uh, Airlie Beach and that sort of area, uh, like leaves the place in around maybe 20 or 30 minutes or so, we'll get a much better idea on what the storm actually looks like. But there isn't actually too much to the storm southern side apart from a couple of inflow bands and some very gusty winds as well. Hamilton Island receiving winds right now, 86 kilometers an hour, and they had a 115 kilometer an hour wind gust about 20 minutes ago at the time of this uh, video's release, um, which is quite strong. That's a very strong wind gust for how far away Hamilton Island is from the storm center. They're about 300, about 200 kilometers away from the storm center. Uh, so Hamilton Island receiving 115 kilometer an hour winds is a very big deal indeed. This is a strong storm. It's quite a bit stronger than I did expect. And that's because it's blowing up a lot more thunderstorm convection. You remember yesterday in yesterday's forecast update, how uh, we're looking at a very bare sort of center of circulation, just like this lower level cloud swirl and how it looked like an east coast low. Well, now it actually looks like a tropical cyclone. The reds and the blacks here, um, and into the whites mean very intense thunderstorm activity that's firing up towards the north of the storm center. And that's what you'd like to see in a strengthening tropical cyclone, which means that Kiralee is certainly strengthening right now with some very intense thunderstorms towards her north. You can also see that she's suffering from the impacts of wind shear. The clouds are very kind of uh, wispy, this high sort of cirrus clouds, very wispy towards the northern side of the system. That's a side effect of high levels of wind shear, which basically means the thunderstorm activity is being pushed away by the winds from the storm center, not allowing it to get adequately organized. Because if this storm was allowed to get adequately organized before landfall, then it would be rapidly intensifying and we'd be looking at a category three strength severe tropical cyclone landfall. But thankfully that is not the case. However, still a strong category two strength tropical cyclone is expected to head ashore uh, tonight. It looks really decent. Um, you can see a lot of the thunderstorm activity towards the northern side of the system. That's um, that means the worst conditions are on the northern side of this storm, and that's reciprocated, especially in the rainfall forecast as well. The majority of the rainfall remains towards the uh, western side and the northern side as well. You can see the um, Eastern Relief model has actually initialized a lot of rain and thunderstorm activity moving through Mackay and Bowen at this point, which actually isn't happening. They're just getting a couple of showers at this point. So the forecast models haven't done a very good job at initializing this tropical cyclone or getting its initial forecast correct. Um, which is interesting, especially the Eastern Blue That's kind of the big outlier at this point. Um, but the Access G3, I believe, has got a better idea of what the storm's actually doing. That very intense rainfall activity towards the northern side of the storm, and also a couple of showers, some very heavy rain showers and gusty winds towards the southern side, and, uh, southern side in that inflow band. And the Access G3 model is the model that I'm going to be forecasting with for the next 12 hours and seeing what this system does. So you can see throughout the rest of today, uh, the majority of the rainfall is concentrated towards the northern side and it falls between Townsville up towards Cairns. Cairns will start to get a little bit wetter as this evening approaches. They're currently under some very still and muggy conditions. And I've read comments um, on another video of how eerie and strange the weather is. Certainly a tropical cyclone um, is approaching. You'd be able to tell if you're in Cairns, uh, very muggy and still air, which is very normal for a tropical cyclone's approach. 
and also quite a bit of rainfall is expected between Bowen down towards uh, Rockhampton actually from that inflow feature uh, on the southern side of the storm which is just in that sort of lower level cloud so very gusty conditions associated with some moderate to heavy showers around Mackay, Proserpine, Early Beach and Hamilton Island throughout the next 12 hours but the real deal is of course going to be around the landfall site Townsville it will get belted by this storm tonight um, especially between the hours of 6 p.m local time and 2 a.m tomorrow morning local time that eight hour window is where the worst of the cyclone conditions are going to be coming ashore um, especially between Thursday and then into Friday um, as this storm moves inland, very heavy rainfall is expected associated with the tropical cyclone. And I'll touch on the winds before I give the full rainfall forecast. Very strong winds are also expected. Currently, the storm has been initialized with winds of around 100 kilometers an hour, which I believe is totally plausible. The storm might actually have winds of 100 kilometers an hour, placing it well into category two uh, strength tropical cyclone status at this point. I think the Bureau of Meteorology is being quite conservative with this system, but I, uh, that's totally plausible at this point, considering this has been such an unpredictable forecast. Um, but the storm might be a little bit stronger than what we are thinking. Still blows into Townsville later on tonight. Like I said, around 6 p.m. is when the worst of the cyclone did. conditions will be coming ashore between Cardwell down to around Bowen. They'll be all under cyclone winds at this point. Townsville receiving sustained winds of around 70 kilometers an hour, air as well around 70 kilometers an hour. And these winds will pick up as the night goes on. Peak wind gusts around Townsville as this cyclone makes landfall. Um, on the southern side of the system will probably be around 130 kilometers an hour. Um, and then on the north Side, you're probably looking at peak wind gusts approaching 150 kilometers an hour. So it's a really strong cyclone as it makes landfall. 150 kilometer an hour winds can cause roof failure, they can cause serious property damage, they'll blow carports away, they will down trees. Uh, these are some very strong wind gusts. I believe Townsville's record strongest wind gust would be approaching 220 kilometers an hour. So it's about 60% of Townsville's record strongest wind gust. So it's something really nasty that's blowing ashore tonight. Uh, like I've said, a category two cyclone, it's kind of a one in 10 year weather event for Townsville. It's a strong system. They don't get impacted by this every single year. Um, and it will definitely be packing a punch as it moves into Townsville at this or around tonight and into tomorrow. There will be the evening update, and I'll be outlining all of the details of the landfall as it happens. So if you do have internet, make sure you're sticking around, uh, sticking around for that because we will know exactly what's going on. Unfortunately, only six hours in advance, but that's the case with all of these tropical cyclones. We can make the best forecasts that we could possibly make. We can put our hearts and souls into these forecasts and into the details, and then the cyclone either decides not to form or it explosively intensifies or does something ridiculous that we didn't foresee. I mean, this system had prime conditions to rapidly intensify for about four days, and yet she still refused to form. So these storms are so unpredictable and so unreliable, and it, it, it's only like one in 10 times that we can actually make a decent forecast. And I do apologize for that, uh, but I do believe believe that a Category 2 impact is certainly expected um, at this time. So if you have time, make your final preparations for this system because it will be a nasty one. And a brief look at rainfall accumulation before I close this video off because I'm certainly starting to waffle at this point. Basically with every upload, you're just clicking for a bunch of waffle on tropical cyclones at this point. Um, but a significant amount of rainfall is expected in and around the landfall site. The Eastern WF might have a better initialization on this. They're calling for quite a widespread swathe of at least 200 millimeters around uh, the storm's landfall site between Cardwell and Townsville. The worst the rainfall will actually be around Ingham and uh, Munter, uh, Mun uh, Nee, actually, that little town between Ingham and Townsville and Palm Island. That's where the worst the rainfall will be, as I've said, on the northern side of the system, on the northern side of the landfall uh, for this tropical cyclone. Uh, because of how displaced the thunderstorm activity or convection is from the storm center. But still a lot of rainfall ex expected down the coastline. Air might pick up 120 millimeters down towards Yalbaru and Mackay. You're probably looking at another 100 to 120 millimeters tonight and into tomorrow as well. So still the risk of flash flooding is certainly there as this storm makes landfall. Um, make sure you're staying safe. If you live in a flood prone area, uh, don't go outside and chase the storm tonight and into tomorrow morning because ha road conditions will certainly be hazardous. Uh, there's likely that roads will be cut off actually because of this amount of rainfall uh, will likely cause landslides in one or two locations especially in the hills around Cardwell and Ingham as this storm makes landfall however I do expect the airports to be opening and functioning by at the absolute latest Saturday morning but they should all be open by about Friday evening I reckon Hamilton Island might actually be open Friday morning um, as this cyclone draws away uh, so conditions will certainly be easing fast enough to get supplies in and get the disaster emergency 
uh, plans certainly well into high gear by around Friday evening. So I've seen comments about people flying into Townsville Friday evening. Your flight should be okay. Um, I don't foresee there being a problem on Friday evening. The airport will certainly be closed today and into tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, certainly by Saturday morning, they'll be open and the disaster relief responses will be swung into high gear. Um, and you shouldn't be cut off for more than around 24 or 36 hours if you do live in Townsville, maybe about 48 to 60 hours in a more isolated rural area. Uh, so make sure you've got enough cyclone supplies for that, but it's certainly becoming too late to prepare for this tropical cyclone, um, especially if down towards Early Beach and Hamilton Island, you should be hunkering down now and taking shelter from this tropical cyclone as it makes its final approach to landfall. And then from about midday today, between air and up towards Cardwell, you should be hunkering down from this tropical cyclone. The, those beers should be on ice and you should be tapping into your supplies by around midday today and watching this cyclone come ashore. But still, 150 kilometer an hour winds and 200 millimeters of rainfall and a four foot storm's tide, um, which I forgot to mention actually, it's a significant storm coming ashore. So stay safe, take all necessary precautions and make sure you're heeding all all warnings from the Bureau of Neurology, but that's the latest on this system. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and leave a like on the video while you're at it, and I'll catch you all in the next storm. Goodbye.